All right. Uh, giving a, usually I don't do Fridays, but this was kind of a weird Friday because they had Yellen speak at, at 3.45, uh, which kind of sucked. And a lot of people didn't understand the indecision, but the indecision, indecision was because of that. So we, we see this day. We want to see Monday break up in a major way. A lot of major uh, names did look very, very tired today. Um, indexes basically gave nothing. Um, but we want to see if they can at least give a buy signal with some heavy volume. We want to see this... Um, 2074, 2090 area really broken with some steam behind it before we start looking to get into longs. Again, this is Friday, expiration, easy money, put side. I guarantee there's a flood load of puts and calls up there. So having it, and most people probably didn't even look to see that Yellen was speaking. It was very odd. Last time Yellen spoke was when Apple got inserted into the Dow. I want to see the big picture of it. I think they they did that to kind of float it because uh, float the Dow up because uh, rarely do they put names in on Wednesday, and I spoke about that on the video of that day. Um, NQ, okay, NQ again gave an indecision, gave a uh, you know broke above the high, but did nothing today because of that. You had the YM pretty much do the same thing as well. A lot of indecision, so we got to see again. You see these candlesticks. Doesn't mean, you know, I'm going to, you know, once I see a hammer, it's hammer time. You get all happy and start dancing. Just slow down. It's a Friday. You can wait. If as long, Basically, there was no movement today. So if you didn't get in today, you'll have a perfect opportunity to get long on Monday if you want. IWM was probably the one that really did kind of move. The volume was a little bit lighter, but it did move higher. So again, you had a violent move. So we want to see at least this 124 area pierced with some type of major commitment to it. Apple, I gave the in-depth analysis. We see, want to see this 123 area uh, hold because we have some spore levels. And if you want to see that, I made a quick two minute video last night uh, based on that. Uh, Amazon, again, gave a little uh, buy signal. It's still in a, in a bullish type of thing. We just didn't want to see these highs. And you see the volume has really gotten anemic for that one as well. Uh, Google looked beat up as well. Uh, continuing to look a little beat up. Priceline excuse me, price line uh, still looking beat up. So again, you got the one rip up and it gave all of it back. So again, price line is get flirting with this area where we got to see, um, are we going to get a sell signal for this thing? Um, if we get a light flag up, it might be a sell that could be setting up. Uh, yeah, Tesla was beat up. Again, this would be more profit taken to me than anything because um, the short was, you know, we've talked about the short, short was around here. Um, stop would have been around up here as well. Uh, oil uh, continuing from the retracement uh, again it's just a couple days retracement and uh, people started talking about longs I don't I don't know why but again it broke the $50 level and closed below it uh, let me give you the exact uh, close it was actually 4844 on that so it broke the $50 level and broke down so you can see this nice sell signal it might get some continuation on Monday uh, for that, all the other names really look tired. You know, IBM really didn't do much. Um, I think I just said Netflix again. Netflix just indecision. I would not be. I would be buying a very small size play like that if I was. I was trying to do anything. Uh, buy do. You know, again, just choppy, choppy action. So a lot of big names again look very, very tired uh, going into things. So we just want to see how that one plays out. Twitter's still looking good. Again, hopefully people didn't just try, try to trade this breakout because then they're feeling the pain. If you got in here, I hope you didn't put your stop right below it. And again, this you want to get more in this area right here, but that's another another video and another rant. Uh, gold, again, um, the dollar was kind of flattish, but again, it has, some I think, some support around the 96 area. So um, we'll see how this one plays out but again oil and gold are, are moving downwards because of the, the dollar uh, uh inversion right there so we kind of will see how that one plays out baba again if you're looking to go long baba you hate your money not that you hate your money let me let me not say something like that but the trend is clearly down and it's been showing characteristics of that as well so if you're looking to pick a bottom i would suggest that you need more than a couple candles and a, a just one lower high uh, have something of significance before you're trying to do stuff like that. You want the high probability trades, not just, you know, you see a couple candles up and you want to go from there. So, again, I, I m mentioned last night quickly um, looking to beta test a, a, a swing trading service uh, and we have some light. 
nice couple things coming up through the pipeline that we're going to be putting together. And I'm going to probably be giving an exa examples of some in-depth analysis that I'll be giving some uh, esoteric type of uh, price levels and times as well. Uh, we, we do forecast some times and, and dates um, into the future that uh, we'll, we'll start uh, putting in place as well. So again, have a great weekend and we'll see what they do on Monday and Tuesday. Again, don't let an up day one day uh, up be like your catalyst of now I'm going to you know go full position. Again, it's we're in, we're in real not scary time. I wouldn't say scary at all, but again, they just need to giddy up a little bit if they're going to want to get some some buyers on the retail side. Remember, this was all big sellers. This was all so we want a big buyer. We want somebody like a Goldman or somebody like that to actually come in to to boost this thing up. Don't think you're you know 100, 200 contracts or one two contracts is going to do it. We want to get on the the bandwagon of one of those guys and, and go from there. So take care and have a great weekend.